Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So let's head off to the baths. We can only imagine what sorts of things might go on at the Roman baths. But I suppose when you are in Rome, you faith as the Romans do. That's what they say, right? Beautiful. It's sort of low poly, but you get the idea, right? Beautiful place. Yeah, Watson With a gets dreadful it. murder. The body of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe is still in the steam room. It has not been touched, per your usual instructions, Mr. Holmes. I shall be waiting for you here, but please hurry. Well, yeah, he's being steamed. Are you able to identify the men who are with the victim in the steam room? Yes. The manager of the bath, Sir Gregory Pitkin, a lad from the city council, Garrow, and an archaeologist by the name of Blinkhorn. I think the plump one, Garrow, did it. He doesn't seem right in the head. Well, we shall see. Three spus suspects straight out the gate. Suspects. You found no murder weapon? No. And that's why I called you. All three witnesses and the victim were locked in when the murder occurred, and they remained so until we got here. We even had to pick the lock to enter. I see. None of them did it. Was there anyone else here, apart from those gentlemen in the steam room? Yes, a Mr. Phillips. He was the one who called the police. He will be able to give you more details. Great. Shall we start with him? Where'd he go? You see, he's at the desk here. Yeah. Even though he's standing up a minute ago. Good day to you, Mr. Phillips. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my colleague, Dr. Watson. Would you be so kind as to answer our questions? Certainly, sir. Please tell us the chain of events from the start of your day. Everything that you can remember. The slightest detail may be of importance. Very well, sir. I came in at 6.30 this morning, and I opened the baths. I made sure that the room was clean, and I prepared the towels. The brazier was still burning. There was a fire burning all night? Yes. Sir Gregory ordered me to light the brazier yesterday. It takes some time until the room is fully heated. The gentleman had a meeting at 9 o'clock this morning. I wanted everything to be perfect. They'd been in the steam room for 20 minutes when I suddenly heard shouting. I ran to the door, but it was closed. I couldn't open it. So I ran out to the street to call for the police. One constable came up, and then there were others, and they picked the lock. Then Inspector Lestrade came along, and he told us that nothing should be touched. Hmm. Did you receive any other visitors this morning? No one. Until these gentlemen arrived. Sir Gregory was the first. And then, while we were discussing work details, Sir Rodney and Mr. Blinkhorn arrived, and Mr. Garrow followed. What happened after that? I waited until they'd all entered the steam room, then I returned to the hall. The changing room door was open, so I should hear if they needed anything. You would have heard if someone had entered or left the steam room. Certainly, sir. These doors make a lot of noise. Interesting. There's a scissor cut near his eye. All righty. Oh, there's the scissor cut. Okay. What is that a reference to, I wonder? We already looked at those. Interesting. We're still missing one. And it's light something. There we go. 
OBKB. Are the steam rooms on the other side, Mr. Holmes? I guess we'll go check it out. Frigidarium? I don't think that's where you find a steam room. So perhaps it's this way. I have for some time wanted to attend some place like this. I don't know if any still exist. Champagne for a special occasion. An ice bucket to keep the champagne chilled. Unopened, it was intended to be enjoyed after the steam session. And we're all done with that. What else we got here? Expensive clothes belonging to one of the men from the steam room. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. Considerably tidier, these two. Clothes belonging to one of the suspects. Yep, yep, yep. In we go. What a place. These poor guys are in here steaming. Ooh. Good Lord, Holmes. Ah, death with a peculiarly Roman piquancy. Like the one you almost had an hour ago. And let us forget about that. Can we? Is it going to be irrelevant? There was only one hit from the weapon. It pierced the right eye straight through to the brain. Death would have been instantaneous. And blood was everywhere. Some dirt or earth. I'll take a sample. Look, Watson. He was wearing a ring. He very likely removed it before the steam session. Is there more? Death yeah. Is very recent. Between 30 minutes to one hour ago. That'd be pretty difficult to estimate, I expect. What else is there? There's got to be something else. Yeah, there we mm. go. The wound should not have bled so profusely. This pool is rather large. Interesting. I think we have found all that we can here, taking into consideration the abysmal lighting. Constable, we have finished with the body. We don't have many leads here. What concerns me is that we still have to find the murder weapon. Mr. Holmes? Please have the body removed without disturbing anything else in the room. All right, Mr. Holmes. I was wondering, Holmes, it's fairly reckless to carry out a murder inside a closed chamber. Why do you suppose they did it? There are a great many possibilities. But the murderer was in a hurry. Or he is an artist. Or a ghost. Or he wanted to ensure that I'd be brought in on the case. Probably the latter. You are ridiculous. Do you know that? Sure. Everybody knows that. I should check this blood sample at Baker Street. There is... there's a pattern there. Yeah. This key was covered in blood. I should ask Phillips about it. Did he do it to himself? The grid cannot be removed. All right. Gentlemen, I'm going to need you to... Drop your towels so that you can be searched. One of you has got a weapon. And you don't have many places to hide it. What do we got here? That's an impressive brazier. One lens is cracked. Probably due to the temperature of the brazier. These lenses are for myopia. The wearer is short-sighted. And what's that in there? The brazier is still burning. The heat here is extreme. And this? I will need something to pick up this melted metal. Ah, the weapon's been disposed of. Hot. I cannot reach into it. The weapon is nowhere to be found. Except for, you know, being right there. Hey, you. It's uh, horrible. So Rodney East, 
Date? Can't we speak about it somewhere else? No. Blood traces wiped on the towel. I suppose you could have done that yourself after you touched him. I'm in shock. I don't want to talk. It's horrible. I can't talk at the moment. So... What else, then? Mr. Holmes? Nothing there. There are definitely some more clues for me to find, I think. G. Newell and Sons, steam specialists, Seattle, W.A. That's in Washington. With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. Is that all that was good for? There doesn't seem to be anything else. Item required. The brazier is still burning. Yeah, that's fine. We should go find some some tong to tong tong tongs or something. What do we got? Anything here? The guy at the desk. Ooh, can I use the ice? Probably not. I need to find some tongs. Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? Hmm. Uh, please wait. I need to do something first. Hmm. I don't know about that. How many people have keys to the steam room? We have just the one key for now, which Sir Gregory gave to me. So, this morning you opened the steam room, and then? I put the key inside my desk, but when they called, I couldn't find it. It had disappeared. I, I, I don't know where it is. Did you leave the baths at any time, or receive any visitors? No, sir. I did not. What? Oh. It's the telegram. Yeah, okay. Did you... I get it. No, sir. I did not. There we go. You are not telling the truth, Mr. Phillips. You left your work this morning, and you went to the post office where you dispatched a telegram at around 7.30. But how could you... No, I... The telegram was for someone in Manchester. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, it's impo... I'll tell you everything. I left the baths at 7.20. My sister wrote to me yesterday, and she needed a reply, or our mother is unwell. I was away for 20 minutes, and I closed the baths on my way out. Did you receive a reply from your sister? No, she wasn't meant to. I just told her to pawn my old school uniform so that she could pay for the medication. Did you check to see if the key was still in your desk when you returned? No, I didn't. Please, Mr. Holmes, don't tell the police about this. Sir Gregory would give me the sack. I need this job. I see. There is a bottle of champagne on ice in the changing room. Do you have any idea who left it there? There is? Are you quite certain? I didn't pay any attention. Do you believe that it's important? Maybe. What should we do next, Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Can I get into the Frigidarium? Maybe there's a tool I can use in there. I can. I... oh yeah, totally. This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. It's like a museum in here. What do we got? There's a missing... A glass plate negative is missing. Hmm. It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Huh. 
glass plate negatives, a remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. Could that possibly be relevant? Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. What kind of monster would be inscribing numbers on archaeological finds? Dear friend, I wish to organize a press conference at the Strand Lane Baths next month. Remarkable year for my work in Egypt, but now it's time to set my focus upon English archaeology, shine the light on national treasures, as many journalists as possible, treat them well enough. I'd like to recall my old friendship with Lord Blackmore and use his special funds for this event. There are few among us who could claim any degree of unfamiliarity with the name Sir Rodney, ben Rodney Bentcliffe. Wealth, nor notoriety, vigor, match the finest of his ilk, powerful connections within the Lord's Chamber, determined and ambitious. Miraculous reopen for the Strandling Roman Baths excavation research. Hmm. So this place was both an active archaeological dig and a recreational site? This metal plate, besides its archaeological interest, appears to be part of something larger. At the present moment, I am unable to determine precisely what that might be. Hmm. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. It is a primitive projector, is what it is. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? <laughs> I'm enjoying this one so far. Tools. Tools used by archaeologists in their research. How about we take I them tongs? These tongs? Yeah. Excellent. I have a feeling that the murder weapon might be an artifact. Well, well, well. My God, are you all right? I wonder how this could have happened. <laughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium, the coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. Sure. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. Well, I got the tongs, so I guess I'm good for my current mission. Back to the steam area. should analyze this melted metal. Indeed. If you have to interrogate me, I'd like to be dressed properly first. How about I steal your towel and snap your wiener with it? You'd be properly dressed then. Alright, I guess we can let these guys go. Mr. Holmes? Let's check these clothes one more time. Wait, there's... There's only three sets of clothes in here. But including the dead one, there were four men. These clothes belong to one of the suspects from the steam room. What's the deal with that? Who didn't leave their clothes in here? And where did he leave them? Yeah, take him back. 
Mr. Holmes? None, Lestrade. So now we got to do an interrogate, but I think I want to analyze that metal first, which might mean that there's a chemistry puzzle for me to skip here. Oh, look at that dog on the couch. Excellent. Do you think there's something different in the window this time? That might be a different woman. I... <laughs> okay, look at all that analysis we gotta do. Uh, ooh, set focus. Okay. Pyrite. Otherwise known as fool's gold. Interesting. Selenite. Okay. Pyrite. Yeah. Anything else? White clay particles. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. The sample of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, located near the city of St. Albans. Alrighty then. And now we've got... Let's analyze this blood sample. Some blood? This blood has not coagulated well. It seems very liquid. That is strange. Let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. I must take a pip There's a pipette. And there's a peroxide. And now we'll just... Give it a boop. How about over here? No? Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water. I don't know what to make of that. This is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us compare this sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. Why do I need two tests? So we'll uh, take the acid. And uh, give that a little bit. Okay. And we'll give that a little bit. The reaction is the same red stain. It is silver. Britannia silver quality. So that's it. Why did I need to... Oh. The melting point is because of the brazier. Alrighty. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. <laughs> Minecraft doesn't... <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just going to keep calling him Minecraft. He doesn't appreciate that we didn't give the case to him. Well, heck off, Minecraft. The grotesque murder of the former Captain Peter Carey has been resolved. And we just blamed some already dead guy for it. This is where I keep my post. Buddy, there's a letter right there. Can I wear different outfits now? I wonder, wonder what my options are. I can wear a black suit. 
or a brown suit or a green suit and they all look the same in the dark or a gray suit I kind of like the gray suit oh you know what let's go with the light suit yeah sure too bad I can't run around with an octopus on my head Scotland Yard so we got three friends to interrogate I can't imagine what else would have been tossed into the brazier other than the weapon. It's a little surprising that it would be wrought from currency quality silver, I think. Alright, so what do we got here? Start with Bent Cliff. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. It's been resized. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Looks sort of snaky. I see the join. This ring was repaired and quite badly too, with silver. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. You gonna find those rings anywhere else? Who's this a denarius? An old and rather dirty coin. Hmm. A hand drawn map. X marking the spot. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. Today, I almost found this date will go history. Is that it? And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. No need to ask him. Today I almost found it. Mr. Holmes, the coroner had... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well... <laughs> The right eyeball's been burst, pierced to the hilt by a curve-bladed knife. The knife cut through the orbit of the frontal bone, ripping a part of the frontal lobe and the corpus callosum, after which, completing its trajectory in the cerebellum, caused hemorrhagic lesions. All of these injuries led directly to the death of the individual. At the upper lobe of the right lung, there is an old injury filled with an amount of mucus and ciliated debris that may correspond to a chronic infection by elements likely inhaled in a burial chamber, a decaying mummy, for example, or a dried and decomposing food product intended to accompany the deceased in their grave. The remainder of the body does not appear to have been damaged. 
Righto. An ordinary pencil. Dear sir, the interests that I represent require the situation at the baths to be changed for the better. At the present time, the Frigidarium excavations remain under your direction, and yet the works have not progressed. You have failed to find anything of value, and we are unable to make the Frigidarium accessible to the public. The Frigidarium is a valuable asset in the recreation of the Roman bath experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have this remaining time to conclude your archaeological research and to find yourself another workplace. Mm. A file yeah. with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wart flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. Well, that is interesting. So interesting that I have once again run over time. So that's going to be it for episode 8. Come back and see me again in episode 9, and we will continue our perusal of these people's belongings, and then we'll go in and have a chat with a few of them. Talk to you soon.